Aqua Gang Gang Gang. What it do, you guys? It's your girl, Empress 777 here today with a general love message for my Aquarius Soul family. What's up, y'all? I hope you guys are doing super fantastic. I most certainly am. Holy Angels and Spirit Guys, please give us exactly what we need to know in regards to my Aquarius Gang, my Aquarius Soul family. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. These messages are general, guys, okay? Take what resonates with you. Leave the rest for whoever else it's here for. Use your intuition to guide you towards those messages that may be here for you today, okay? So, wow. Uh, quick little couple of announcements, I guess. Well, not really, okay? Uh, take a moment. Click that like button, guys, if you don't mind. It's one of the hugest ways to donate to our channel. Truly appreciate those of you. Um, no lie. Hands down. You guys are the real MVPs that always click the like button every single time. I fuck with you. Hard body. Okay? Always. Forever, ever, 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 ever. If you want to make it official and become a part of our gang, become a part of our family, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Okay? That's an invitation. Okay? I'm not forcing. not forcing anything. Only if you want to. All right? You may want to also click that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload for this sign, which is quite often. Okay, guys? Just in case um, you guys don't know, I do have a second channel that we are currently growing. That channel is more for collective messages and more general messages for the population at hand as this is a predominantly Aquarian channel. Um, that will be linked down below for those of you who are interested in that. Okay, so that's that on that. We don't have any pre-shuffle today, which is quite surprising, but you know, we go with the flow. We let it go, we let it flow, you know? <laughs> bars. Your girl got bars. So, okay, Jade wants to make a entrance. I like it. I feel like Jade is definitely a signifier for some of the energy that I was feeling in your premeditation. Okay, this is also possibly why we didn't need to pull any cards prior. Um, but this reading is still showing up for a purpose. So keep an open mind when it comes to tarot. If you're a cross watcher, of course, place yourself where you belong in the story. Okay, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, you may be an Aquarius dealing with another Aquarius, right? Just, just go with the flow, y'all, right? Like, really only uh, take the messages that are truly being guided towards you. So let's do two more shuffles here. Bit of a different kind of reading here possibly a different kind of spread but i love that jade wanted to come and join us hey girl hey we like you you stay right there now let's see what we have going on here in the energies that want to show up here for you today all right bottom of the deck we have oh really oh really hmm okay non-committal energy a player but okay so i'm hearing two different things though i'm hearing like this is somebody who wants to be a player right like so it's definitely a pretend act this is somebody who potentially saw people in their past do that right like have multiple girls have multiple guys have a starting lineup ha you know place people on the on the bench uh uh, uh you know and, and make their options play tag and shit like that tag you're out tag you're in right but they're not doing it for real for real this is also why we have this <laughs> look look apology love offer frustration sadness this all sounds like personal problems to me but we move okay they're they're obviously here for a reason this is somebody who wants to come in now okay so obviously their little game this little tactic that this person tried to use this little um manipulation that this person possibly wanted to work on you this person possibly feels either insecure um about like who you are as a person right like you're very different you're possibly a slight bit out of their league um for some of you for others of you this is someone who felt like they couldn't really figure you out so they needed to come up with this game plan right in order to to kind of get you hooked get you attached get you interested or get you to subscribe to this game right now this act that they're playing as a player this feeds this person's ego right like they like to have multiple options but they really only had their eyes set on you that is sad so so why i just i don't get it and for some of you the fact that this was not phasing you because i feel like for some of you it bothered you at first but then you just eventually was like okay fine if that's how you want to play it you know what i'm saying <laughs> i don't hate the player 
okay? I don't hate the game either because I invented that shit, bitch. Let me show you how to do that, son, <laughs> right? Let me show you how to really do it. And then this person gets frustrated. It's like you started it, though. I don't understand. Oh, the manipulation was only supposed to work on your end. But I don't feel as if you tried to manipulate this person. I feel as though you just did not let their antics, whatever ways in which they were trying to um, do this little push, pull, hot, cold game with you. For some of you, it was multiple people. OK, I'm just going to say that. But don't force it to fit. If this person had multiple options, multiple connections, this is something you already knew or something that you already um, intuitively have been guided to kind of figure out. OK, um, yeah, I feel like for others of you, like I said, this is just a bit of a tactic that this person would use. They possibly didn't have any other people, but would purposefully not answer your call, not show up, do no call, no show. Right. Like not text you back. Act like they're super duper 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 busy, too busy for you, too busy for you. And you kind of just let it be. You didn't chase them. You didn't chase after the offer. You didn't chase after the attention. You d it didn't make you sad. It didn't make you frustrated. There's a lot of indifference here, you guys. Okay? So this person thinks that you're weird. Like, who are you really? This always works on people. Why isn't this working on you? You're not frustrated. You don't care. You don't care that I got a whole bunch of holes in different area codes? Right? You don't care that I'm a 304? <laughs> Y'all like, girl, what's a 304? Y'all know I speak Ebonics over here, okay? I know, I know, I know, I know. This, I, I have to break it down sometime. 304. Okay, I think that's what the kids call it these days. Y'all correct me down in these comments if I'm wrong, right? If you put it in a calculator, the 304, and you flip the calculator in reverse, it say ho. Okay? Ho, ho. All right. And for those of you who, who are a little bit aged like myself, like fine wine, baby, whoremonger. Okay, that's what it's giving. But I feel like they were faking it, guys. They were. They thought it would work. Like they were either actually entertaining a whole bunch of other people and hoping that this would frustrate you so much that you would come towards them with an offer or that you would try or that you would potentially um, beg them. Girl, what? boy what beg it's not even in our vocabulary as aquarians this person is out of their mind they're a looney tune they're the freak show okay but they're pointing the finger at you for how differently you are handling this versus their other connections or other people that they've done this to in the past this is a pattern for them it normally works now they want to say sorry right because it didn't work now, for those of you, for others of you, this person wasn't dealing with multiple people, but they wanted to make it seem like they were, right? So that's that overly busy type of energy. I gotta go, I gotta go, can't really talk, can't, can't call you back, can't, can't talk right now, right? Like, always on the go. They want you to think that they're with other people, but they're really not. And that's a double whammy in that fucking ego for that person because it didn't work, you see. Now they're calling you a weirdo. This person may try to feign in innocence, right? Uh, innocent energy. <laughs> so. For some of you, I feel as though the reason why this didn't phase you is because this person possibly came towards you at a time in your life where you were just looking for fun. And they potentially did not like that right for some of you you friend zoned this person or friends with benefits this person situation shipped this person you're the one who placed it on the back burner you're the one who put them on ice right like i'll call you don't call me okay i'll have my people call your people right i'll let you know when i'm available that shit was really grinding this person's gears because they are potentially um used to people offering them love right chasing them people being sad about them so guys dare i say that for some of you this person thinks you're a freak because you are giving them a taste of their own medicine for those of you who resonate with the last portion that i just said if you're the one who friend zoned this person you are actually innocent in this but they've tried to manipulate you emotionally to get you to have some form of emotional attachment and want them right by making you jealous right by way of making you jealous but it didn't work. So no matter where this resonates for you, they're 
tactics, their antics did not work. They feel like you're weird for that. Yet they still want to come towards you with some form of an apology because this is someone who views you as very valuable. They're not able to just walk away. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, look. Right? They, they view you as... um high society is what i'm hearing okay high society upper echelon baby royalty whatever you want to call it right um it's giving regal it's giving regal darling is what it's giving they also don't like your reserved energy they feel like you being so reserved towards them is like a slap in the face so this person might be used to people being overly emotional with them in the beginning of connections people wanting to know what's up with them what are they doing who are they doing right who are they going out with inquisitive energy you just kind of let it be what it was gonna be for some of you while the two of you were together you had fun and then when the two of you were apart you're good you weren't sad frustrated none of that you had your own sh your own life your own thing going on this might be a codependent energy for some of you as well guys because they like for someone too so this is the type of person because of their codependency they will never tell anyone that because of their ego so they instead manipulate and try to make it seem as though they're the ones that are indifferent. They're the ones that have a bunch of options. They're the ones that are getting all the love offers and frustrating many of people, right? And you're the freak for not wanting them because everybody else wants them. Um, but when in all actuality, this is somebody who is really codependent. They actually like someone who gets, who gains feelings for them quick, right? They like um, someone who shows a lot of affection quick, they like that energy to come fast. It feeds them. It's something that they like. It's something that makes them feel secure. And the moment they don't feel that security, this is when the games start for them. They, they want to bring it out of you. Okay, so this is somebody who's going to make you love them voluntarily or involuntarily with the bullshit. And you didn't do that. <laughs> You didn't do that. Okay, you don't uh, you don't do that is what I just heard. You don't do that. It's not what you do. Feelings immediately. Bitch, please. <laughs> you messing with the real OG. Oh, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. Right? Like, it's not even your thing. And that's a, that's a characteristic of you. That's not something that you're just doing to this person, even though they're taking it very personal. They're taking that very personal. That's just how you are by nature. But they're taking it extremely personal as if you're not innocent in all of this. And then when their antics did not work, it's like, what kind of freak are you? Wow. Very interesting. Now, I had totally different tarot cards out. Um, but while I was meditating, I was told to grab the good tarot deck. So clearly there are messages here in regards to this reading. So let's go ahead and dig in a little bit further. Wow. This person is like, what to do? What to do? Aquarius is not worried about what I'm doing. For some of you, if you have not talked to this person, if you have not reached out, they may have purposefully not reached out to you and have been waiting for you to reach out to them. And if you haven't, right, you and I both know that was like no slight to them, potentially. It's just like you've been doing your own thing. You're not, you're not pressed about this shit. You're not. So it's like, I see you when I see you type of energy. They're not taking it that way, though. They're taking it very personally. This person might actually want an apology. What? <laughs> they might feel like they're owed an apology. Right. Look, Ten of Swords. Wow. Along with the Three of Cups. You see? Do you see? Do you see this? This is this person's energy. This is the embodiment of their energy because this is what they're showing on the outside. Party, 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 party. Let's all get wasted. Three of Cups is going out, going to the club, going out with a different girl, a different guy every day, right? Like running at a start and lineup list to the moon, bitch, right? Like going out, shutting the club down, club hopping. All right. I pull up, pop out, bad bitches hop out, right? Like they trying to act on social media like everything is all good. But then when they go home, they cry when they get in the car. Ciao. If they don't get the fuck, no, let me stop. If this person don't get the fuck, <laughs> oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay. What else do we need to know here? 
They feel like you're detached. They don't like that shit at all. They want you to cur. They want you to cur. Look at the bottom of the deck. This is what they are dealing with, you guys. Now, I'm not saying that this person is using the word love in their own verbiage when they talk about you, because please believe they are talking about you. The single person, okay? The person who's happily single, person who's self-sufficient, the person who, if you're going to show up with player, player energy, you better be ready. <laughs> you better be ready for what I'm about to show you, okay? Because I invented this shit. I'm the best who ever did it, baby. They wasn't ready. They wasn't ready. They weren't ready. Okay? I feel like this is weighing very heavy on this person. All right? Lots of fatigue. Bit of uh, regret, for sure. Okay? They may want to come in and express some emotions, um, but their pride, that pride baby is really the ringer. It's, it's really what's sending this person through the ringer. The fact that they won't say anything. They're just watching the page of <sighs> wands. Um, I'm sorry, page of swords. It's about watching, right? Outside looking in. If you're not posting on social media, that is adding to the frustration. <laughs> because not only are they not willing to approach you at this juncture, they're trying to yield you to approach them. So they might be the ones posting on social media, right? Thirst traps, trying to get you to care. When you've been trying to find a fuck the gift for the last five years, let me tell you, <laughs> can't find one. So they're just watching and waiting for some of you because you're not posting because you have like gone MIA missing in action they don't know what the fuck and that is further frustrating them as I stated okay if you are posting online okay like innocently though not thirst traps not like petty shit because you're really not bothered by this you really are focused on your money. You may be posting online a new job offer that you just got, um, potentially something else that you just started. You may just be posting a, a, a sunset. <laughs> you enjoying life is the point. And it's a very innocent post, but it makes this person sad because like, how are you all right? How are you okay and I'm not? That's not how this was supposed to go. That was not the game plan. Okay, it's weighing very heavy on them, you guys. It is. Yet they remain silent. I don't know what they want from you. I don't. I, I really don't. I don't see any movement just yet. This is just all in the energy of how they're feeling, you guys. That doesn't say, that's not to say that they won't make movements in the near future. But right now, they're just having a lot of anxiety, a lot of pain, a lot of sadness, frustration. They played a, a really risky game here. Okay, and they ran the risk of... On one hand, you coming towards them with an offer and wondering why they disappeared or why they're not wanting to truly invest in this or why they're not cutting out their other options or the other end of that risk is you totally not giving a fuck. And I feel like the latter is what they are experiencing right now. This is literally their own game, but now they're mad because it did not pan out the way they thought it would. Wow. Now, at the bottom of the deck, you guys, okay, because we have like a lot of heavy energy here, okay? Ten of Swords. We also have the Ten of Wands. We also have the Nine of Swords. Like, come on, right? And you're chilling. And all we have is silence, but I feel like they are coming up with some form of a game plan. They do have feelings for you. This person, do, they are emotionally immature. This is why when they feel like they love someone or if they feel like they are growing emotional attachment for someone, then for them, that's game on because I can't be emotionally attached and you're not. And because you're the type of person that doesn't show your emotions off the bat, this person viewed that as a challenge. child <sighs> they think you fine as fuck baby <laughs> fine okay wow so we have temptation so that is definitely a thought right we got some we have a pot of gold here we got a nice ripe peach this person might be thinking about your buttocks for some of you okay because of the peach i just heard that don't take that if it doesn't resonate for those of you that that resonates with, 
for some of you, they're saying, some of you don't know, this person loves your derriere, okay? They would stare at it or they would say stuff about it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Not me snorting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. There are some cups here. There's like a cup of wine over here on the side. So they may want to go out and have some drinks, right? They may want to get you inebriated, right? Biting this right here. Look, she fell asleep on the beach. They might just want to lay across your butt. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's what I heard, you guys. Please do not get on me down. That's what I heard. They really like your 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 ass, okay? Um, for some of you, you may have you may have told them, okay, you you want to play these games, player player, player player. Okay, how about you watch my ass while I walk away? How you like me now? Go teeth when I smile. Try to take me out the ghetto, but I'm still fuck wild. I'm just <laughs> Y'all, this is crazy. This is crazy. Okay, let's just pull a few more here and then we're going to go over to the extended. Now, we will have new love in the extended, baby, because that just adds another level for sure. If you have received a love offer elsewhere, if you're entertaining other people elsewhere, this person might just think that, especially if you have not been reaching out to them, they may feel like you're entertaining other people rather than just entertaining your damn self. Especially if you're not posting online, right? They're trying to figure it out. They're trying to figure you out. They're never gonna do it. No. You're never gonna do that, ma'am, sir, brusses. Okay? You're barking up the wrong tree. This person is all bark, no bite, is what they're saying. And they really play Russian roulette here. Um, I feel like for some of you, you're like, you're lucky I even gave you the time of day when I did. Then you want to come and play these reindeer games? Boy, if you don't get the fuck. <laughs> Girl, if you don't get the fuck. I can't. Yeah, they do. Of course they do, right? It's the accountability now. Now it's the accountability, right? I wasn't prepared for you. Of course you weren't. There was never any preparation necessary. You weren't trying to be in a relationship with this person for real, for real. You may have glimpsed at it every now and again, but this person will always show up and show you things that suggest that y'all are potentially not a good match. You're very analytical, logical. A person has to logically fit. They did it. So you're cool. You're cool on their ass. <sighs> they said that goes over temptation. Not a, not rocking science, dum dum da dum dum dum. Yeah, this most certainly was not rocket science. They made it more uh, difficult for themselves. Okay, um, with this behavior, and now they can't figure it out. They can't. They were never going to figure you out, but now they have created this muck, right? This this uh, chaotic toxicity and they'll now they're never gonna figure it out and if you don't speak to this person ever again I do feel like this is most certainly at least a portion of their karmic cycle okay because this will drive them crazy how did how did you slip away and leave me here with this what am I supposed to do with this without you They're also pointing to the uh, imagery in this love card. I feel like this person is really like this wounded individual here. Gender doesn't matter, right? Like it's a really a wounded uh, sort of soul, but they want to come off to the world as this lion, right? Or this lioness. This is definitely a struggle for them to feel this week. Fun time, not a long time. That's how you view this, for real. Or at least you will eventually get there if you're still dealing with this person or this is something that you've been thinking about. You're being logical about this thing, okay? And even if you've gained feelings for this person, you're feeling, you are like, what does love have to do with it type of shit? That's how you are. I could love you with all my heart. If it doesn't make sense, babe, I have to love you from a distance. That's how you are. And this person is just like, they don't get that, okay? Look. Definitely searching you up. They're looking for some answers. They need answers. Woo. All right. Let's go on over to the extended. Okay. I really want to dig in over there. I want to see what this person's hopes for the future of this connection is. It's going to let us know where their mind is currently. This is also going to give us an eye into what this temptation or this tempting offer that they're going to come in with might be. So you can just be prepared. You want to stay 10 steps ahead of this shit for real. Okay. I also want to see what 
uh, what's karma looking like for this individual in the near future? What karmic cycles are they set to face? Um, that's going to be very important for those of you who are either still engaging with this person on any level or will be because you're going to be in a direct line of fire with that. Um, and so you just kind of want to be aware. OK, let's also see if there have been any chances of transformation in this individual. OK, in the near future, are there any chances of transformation or transformative energies? Um, that's the only thing that 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 is going to help this situation. If you still have any desire to keep this person around, they will need to transform. Even if you don't want to be in a relationship with I'm, I'm t with them, I'm saying even to have them in your energy, they need to transform you guys. OK, seriously. Um, let's also see their purest intentions, according to the divine, their next steps so that you could fully prepare yourself for both of those. OK, they are approaching. Make no mistakes about it, baby. Okay. You want to be prepared for this. Uh, and then we'll see what the potential outcome is for all of this, whether you decide to continue or reengage with this or go in the opposite direction. I do not judge. I'm going to look at both potential outcomes. OK, let's see. Uh, prior to getting into new love, let's let's get a, a little bit of insight for you first and see what the lesson was in all of this. OK, why did this need to happen? It's also going to give us an idea of if you've already learned that lesson and that'll let you know how close you are to this next cycle, this portal. OK, assuming you learned these lessons, I want to know how do the divine suggest you approach this next cycle to ensure success and ensure that you have created an visibility around yourself, meaning you are invisible to all low vibrational energies and toxic um, individuals. OK, let's then get straight into new love. Let's see what you have coming towards you. Only the good, only the new. All right. What sign or synchronicity can you look out for from your spirit guides or the divine to suggest or signify which person is the one that you should invest in and is worth your while, worth your time? Very important. OK, um, let's also see what a life with this person would be like. Do they change? OK, is it just their representative? Why are they single? According to the divine, not them. And let's also see what blockages and or obstacles may affect the momentum of this connection. Lastly, we'll see what the outcome of that would be, meaning is there a potential for longevity and union with this newer love interest? We'll then get your advice from your spirit guides in reference to how you can speed up the momentum towards the desires of your heart that consists of your fulfillment, your happiness, whatever that recipe is for you. How can you bring that to pass? with the quickness ASAP. And then we will lastly, of course, get a uh, ask the universe read. Well, I'll give you the floor to ask a couple questions, uh, but I'll have more instructions for that over in the extended. Okay. So please guys click the like button, the subscribe button. I'm going to put the link for the extended down below in the description box and I'm going to see y'all over there. Lego.